With Rob Lewis, Brent Hubs, VolQuest.com, Tennessee gets the fourth seed in the SEC tournament thanks to a 65-54 to win at home in the regular season home finale to the Florida Gators. Rob, didn't look good for Tennessee early, but they found themselves in the second half in a big-time big, big time way. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a perfect way to end a season for this team because, I mean, you saw what made this team so maddening for fans to follow all year long. I mean, the, the first half was, you know, what the kind of play that we've seen lead to – to seven SEC losses in, in games that they've all been favored in. And, and the second half, you know, it looked like a team that that was voted to win the, the conference title back in the preseason. I mean, they held Florida to 21 points in the second half. You saw, you know, John Fulkerson showed up today. And, you, know, you know, it wasn't huge, but he had, you know, 14 points. And you, you wanted to see him go out like that. And, and if this turns out to be his last game, I thought Keon Johnson was really good the second half. He had 10, 10 of his 14 points after the break. You know, kind of a same Florida team that beat Tennessee by 26 uh, a little over a month ago. And um, you know, Tennessee won the battle, got crushed on the boards at Florida. Today they out-rebounded Florida significantly. Tennessee had a season high with 18 offensive rebounds. Just, um, it, it, like I said, just a perfect microcosm of this season from the first half to the second half. You know, for me, two things. One, I mean, obviously Florida was without Trey Mann, which is a big loss for them. No, no, no way to underscore that or to oversell that. I'm not taking anything away from Tennessee, but they clearly missed Trey Mann. But I think Tennessee also benefited, Rob, from the week off. Tennessee didn't in the first half. They slept walk, But in the second half, Tennessee looked quick to the basketball, uh, much more assertive and looked like a team that had their legs back under them a little bit to me. Yeah, a lot more energy in the second half. And I don't know if maybe the first half if it was lethargic, maybe the eight, eight, they lay off, hurt them. I'm not sure, but I mean, they, they just look you know, like they weren't ready to play. And, and you mentioned, you know, Florida didn't have Trey Mann, but they also had Scotty Lewis and, and Colin Castleman today, who they didn't have in Gainesville. Good point. And so it was, you know, I, I, I don't know if the, you know, how, how that balances out, but there's no doubt Tennessee benefited from not have from the Gators not having their leading score out there. But um, I, the, Again, I'm going to keep going back to it. It was just a perfect illustration, this game, of, of you know the, the good, bad, and ugly for this Tennessee team. And you mentioned the, the week off. It clearly helped Josiah James, I thought. He just missed a double-double with eight points and ten rebounds. thought he looked a lot you know, more comfortable out there, more assertive, more, more aggressive. And um, him and Victor Bailey, just, just the two of them, um, outscored Florida's bench 22-5, to five, and I think that was a big factor. Tennessee play, defensively played the ball screen stuff, particularly at the top, much better than they did the last time we saw them taking when they took on Auburn. The other thing, too, offensively in the second half, Rob, Tennessee erases a deficit by doing what I think they do best, and that's going to the rim. It was Springer. It was Keon Johnson. It was Victor Bailey. I mean, the ball was going to the rim, going in the paint, and that's seemingly night in and night out. If you're looking for Tennessee's most consistent offense, it's when the ball goes to the rim, and that's what happened – I thought that stretch in the second half where Tennessee took over the game. Oh, no question. I mean, Tennessee outscored Florida 44-28 points in the paint, and, and that's probably the biggest stat of the game to me. And it wasn't, you know, just Fulkerson posting up or, you know, getting offensive putbacks. It's, it's like you're saying, Johnson putting it on the floor, getting to the rim. I mean, Jaden didn't have a, a big game. He had a couple of really nice drives in the second half. Bailey, you know, typically this season, if he's putting up numbers, it's because he's hot from three. He was just two of seven from behind the arc today. He was putting it on the floor and getting to the rim. And I thought Tennessee did a nice job of getting out and running. They outscored Florida 12 points to three in fast break opportunities and, that, you know, getting, getting some of those easy buckets, particularly I thought Keon did a really nice job of that today. It was big in the second half. Last, last couple of things to you. One, we saw the emotion from John Fulkerson at the end of the game. How much do you read into that about whether that's his last game here or do you not – you just think that that's John and his love for Tennessee. And then two, how big is it for Tennessee to get the bye, to, to not have to play until Friday in Nashville? Oh, well, first off with John, I mean, I'm just, you know, Rick has made it pretty clear that there's not a decision that hasn't been made. John talked on Wednesday, said a decision that has been made. You know, I thought, you know, if you're a fan and you saw that today, it maybe looked like he was playing his last game, but I, I just don't think there's anything final there. Um, you know, you know I, mean, his, I mean, I think that's more a reflection of, you know, he, he feels like it's a possibility that might have been his last one and and also a reflection of, you know, how, how he feels about this place. And as far as the bye, I think it's huge just because this Tennessee team can, can lose to anybody in this league with, with what we've seen. So, you know, they, they'd be favored on Thursday. 
against whoever they, they would have matched up against, but they've been favored in every single game they've played this year. And, and you see where we're at here as we head into the postseason. So I think it's a big deal. Tennessee heads into the postseason with maybe some momentum. They did. They went today uh, with the heckle and jekyll, uh, you know, the the up and downs of, of this basketball team. But a win over Florida, sixty-five to fifty-four. Volunteers ensuring themselves with a four seed today and finishing out the home season with a win. That's going to do it for this edition of the Fast Break. Full coverage of today's win coming up throughout the afternoon and evening at BallQuest.com. For Rob Lewis, I'm Brent Hubbs. <laughs> 